Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Think Tank with Lorech and today we're discussing the H factor. I decided to use the phrase the H factor today. I know that for some people the H factor actually means something else but I just decided that mm, I could use it today. <laughs> so what's the H factor? Humility. Humility. Humility is that art of taking on the lower position wherever you are. You know, the Bible says, let each of us not think of ourselves more highly than we ought to. So it's good to think of yourself highly, but not more highly than you ought to, especially when it comes to comparing with other people. Humility is that quality of being humble. Again, I quote the scriptures. I love to quote the scriptures because that's the most authentic sort of information in the Bible. The Bible says, God resists the proud, but gives more grace to the humble. Life is a function of grace. It's really not a function of hard work. It's not a function of connections, it's a function of grace. So wouldn't you rather do those things that attract even more grace to you so that you can actually live the life that you desire? So back to our H factor, humility. Do you know anyone who thinks the world of himself or herself? I mean, he, let me just say, she feels that she is it. She always feels she's better than everybody around. Do you know anyone like that? Always wanting to show what she has, what she can do. Always wanting to, you know, just be out there, just be out there. Have you ever gone for an event with someone and they just marched straight to the front? Because they just assume that. Everybody knows me. I'm a celebrity. So everybody should duck when you arrive. <laughs> Humility is a virtue. Humility is a virtue. Also, <laughs> there are people that just go around and say, you know me, I'm very humble. If you are truly humble, you don't need to say you are humble. Just be. Let me share something that happened um, very recently while I was visiting with a big friend of mine, you know, somebody I call Big Sis. So she starts to ask me about um, this personality who is online, obviously very big in her field, you know, very well known in her field. So the way she calls the name, she just calls it very casually, oh, you know, and she calls the name and I'm like, no. Nope. She says, oh, you don't know her. She's very big. She's, you know, she goes on and on telling me about the person. And immediately it hits me. This person obviously is very accomplished in her field. Very well known. Earning very good money from what she does. You know. But I've never heard of her. Never. Never came across her in anything I'm doing. You know, just never heard of her. But in her world, she is big. So imagine if she went around feeling like I have arrived. Everybody knows me. It pays to be humble. <laughs> there would always be someone who looks better than you. There will always be someone who knows more than you. There will always be someone who has gone ahead of you no matter what you've accomplished in life. So it pays to be humble. Think of yourself highly, but not more highly, and more importantly, not in comparison with anybody else. Why? Because we're all here on a different journey. Our paths are so different in life. So it doesn't pay to compete with anybody else. It doesn't pay to see you through the eyes of anybody else. The most important thing is that you are achieving 
your primary assignment here on earth. That's what is most important. And be humble while at it because God gives more grace to the humble but resists, elbows the proud. Think about it. Thank you.